Joining us now from the Star Ledger newsroom is columnist Mark Diano. He was a classmate and friend of James Gandolfini at Rutgers. Uh, Mark, we appreciate your being there. You, you, I mean, you go far enough back that you, if, if I understand correctly, actually helped to drive him to his first summer stock audition? Yeah, I think uh, I had the car, so uh, that's why uh, that's why he asked me to go with him. Um, you know, this was a long time ago. It was 30, 30 something years ago, and uh, I was a Navy vet in, in 24. He was a kid right out of uh, right out of Park Ridge High School, and like you know, uh, all the kids there, you know, he had his dreams, uh, knew he wanted to be an actor, uh, and uh, so he had an opportunity to try for a summer stock thing, and so we took a road trip. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, did you get a sense there of a, of any unique or special qualities that uh, you know, in retrospect, you think, yeah, I could see it back no. then? No, I thought that he was. Uh, passionate and that he wanted wanted to do it and like a lot of kids that age myself included had no idea how and uh, was going to find his way um, but certainly uh, he was not nor was I at that point or uh, how many people are the kind of people that just stand back and say you know that guy's got something special that guy's going to make it he had a, a great charisma and and he drew people to him and he was a very uh, he could be a very good friend and a very warm guy, and 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 at times, um, but uh, I know there there was not that that aura that you would come back and say, you know, well, I knew then he was going to be a big star. In some ways, he he's become emblematic of a Jersey guy. Uh, do you yeah. think that was something that he would have been comfortable with, and and why do you think that happened? Well, you know, one thing I think what what Jersey guys are, are guys that. Don't pretend they're New York guys. You know, they're guys that are very comfortable and happy with their Jersey, their Jersey ness. Uh, you know, the governor's one of those guys. Uh, uh, Springsteen, after after a little while, became one of those guys. John Bon Jovi's one of those guys. They're proud to be from New Jersey. They're, they don't pretend otherwise. And I think that, um, you know, as a person, James Gandolfini. Uh, was very proud of the Jersey, his Jersey connection, certainly his Rutgers connection. You, you spent a day on the set when the show was in production. You got a chance to see him then as opposed to, yes. to and to remember what he was and what he became. What, what went through your mom when you watched that process? Well, well the first thing was uh, I hadn't seen him in a couple of years at that point, a good, a good decade at least uh, at that point. And, you know, just like any time, you know, you go to your high school reunion, it's the same thing. You see your old friends. You pick up right where you left off, and at the end of the day, you say, uh, "You know, let's do this again. Let's keep in touch." And you never do. And it was that was the way it was. Uh, but um, you know, I just watched him. Uh, you know, uh, again, I, I was most struck by how he dealt with the people around him, the crew members. You know, he would come in. He was laughing. He was joking. Talked to them all. He knew them all by first name. Uh, they loved him. You know, uh, they, they, you know, he was he was the star of the show, and you would never know it. Uh, he 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 moved within the production set like any other person, uh, and um, and I was most struck by that. I was most struck by how he didn't seem to put himself above anybody, and uh, and and was really genuinely himself, you know, with everybody he came in contact with. Mark Diano, thank you for coming on the program, sir. Mike, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it.